Hi everybody, this is Irma from Food for Healthy Bones and I'm here with Skelly, the skeleton that lives in us all. And in the background, you might hear our doggie who's doing a little whining thing. But here we are, we're gonna be continuing with our I Hate to Cook series. And even though this is the winter and Skelly has her nice little spring and summer apron on, um, during the winter time is the time for pomegranates. And normally I love berries during the spring and summer, but pomegranates during the winter, yummy. So here is this beautiful, beautiful fruit, so red and ripe. The pomegranate is an ancient fruit, and we're gonna be talking about how to get the little aerials or the little seeds out from here, the inside of the pomegranate. So a simple procedure is we're going to cut the pomegranate around. The pomegranate has been washed on the outside. I don't necessarily um, only buy organic pomegranates because It's got such a hard shell and I don't use that shell and that's why I wash the shell. So here's the inside. Beautiful, beautiful red, ruby red. And now I'm going to just open it up a little bit, open up the membranes a little bit by doing this kind of motion, right? And you'll hear sort of these crackling in the background. And then I'm gonna take my tool, which is this little mallet. You might be able to use this but the mallet works really, really well for me. And I'm just gonna bang it. And the seeds are going to fall into the dish. Bang it all around. And this is sort of a no fuss, no muss way of doing this. Of course, you don't wanna be wearing a white outfit when you're doing that, that's why I changed. And if you're aggravated with anybody in your life, and you could take it out on your pomegranate. Sorry, baby. But you know, I mean, it's a nice way of doing this. Get rid of some aggression. Pomegranates, they are one of the oldest known fruits in the world. In ancient Egypt, they were buried in the tombs of royalty. Pomegranates originated in Persia, and some people still call them Persian apples or Chinese apples. They were used in Persian wedding ceremonies to symbolize health, fertility, and longevity. Modern science shows that Persians knew how to pick a symbol. Pomegranates have an abundance of antioxidants that boost your heart and brain health and cut your risk of cancer. In fact, studies show pomegranates may have a role in treating over 200 different diseases or conditions. But I love pomegranates for what they do for my skelly. Antioxidants from pomegranates support your bones by reducing oxidative stress that can weaken bones. A study in the European Journal of Nutrition found that all parts of the pomegranate bo boost the activity of osteoblast or bone building cells. They also lower the activity of osteoclasts or cells that break down bone. In another animal study, rats with accelerated bone loss were fed an extract of pomegranate juice and seeds. In just two weeks, their bone minerals lost, their bone mineral loss reverted to normal rates. And a review of eight different studies concluded that pomegranate extract or juice has positive effects on osteoporosis, osteoarthritis, and rheumatoid arthritis. With a thick leathery skin and bright red color, pomegranate sort of look like an apple, but you might be surprised to learn that this exotic fruit is actually a berry. You see, pomegranates are filled with edible seeds. That's pretty much the di difference with a berry and a pomegranate. If you cut a pomegranate in half, as we did on the video, you'll find it's filled with tart, juicy sacs called aerials, A-R-I-L-S. There are over 600 in aerials in the average pomegranate. Inside each aerial is a crunchy, fiber-rich seed, which some people spit out, but you can eat the whole seed, and that's what I do. So feel free to dive into a pomegranate, take my little tip on how to open up a pomegranate and re remove all these beautiful seeds, and enjoy yourself. That's it. From my bones to yours, take good care.